This is question number six. It says there are 130 adults at a language school. Each adult studies one French or Spanish or German. 96 of the adults are women. 12 of the women study French. 73 of the adults study Spanish. 55 of the women study Spanish. And 9 of the men study German. The question says for four marks, how many of the adults study French? Again, with all of these questions, lots of different approaches. What I'm going to do is go ahead and draw a little table. So we're going to have now, in the left-hand column, we're going to have the languages and the total. So I'm going to have French, I'm going to have Spanish, I'm going to have German, and I'm going to have the total. So this is one way that you could do this. I'm going to have now women, so women in here, so we have women and we have men. Now we're told that 96 of the adults are women, so I can put that there are 96 women. If there are 130 adults all told, this must mean that there are going to be 34 men. We're told 12 of the women study French, so I put 12 just here. And we're told now that 73 of the adults study Spanish, and in the next line, 55 of those are women. So 55 of those. If we have 73 studying it, we must have 18 men studying Spanish. 55 and 18 give me 73. We're told nine of the men study German. So all I'm going to do is simply find this value right here and add it to the 12. So we can say that 34 minus 9 minus 18 is going to give me 7. 12 plus 7 is equal to 19. Therefore, now, there are 19 people who study French. Loads of different ways you might want to show more workings. I think this is a fairly straightforward way of doing it, but it's open to lots of different approaches.